All right, here we go. We just did a whole interview with LeVar, but now we're going to do a full tour of Ball Estates. Welcome to the Big Ball Estate. Vlad, I got to show you what's going down in the inside, man. It's one of the coldest houses you're going to see out here. You know I got that swag. So follow me. Let's go. Okay, so the house, what's the square footage? 15,000 square feet. Okay, how many bedrooms, how many baths? Eight bedrooms. Okay. 11 bathrooms. 11 bathrooms. So we ain't gonna never be in no spot where you say, man, I gotta wait to use the restroom. Right, <laughs> okay. And how many acres is this whole property on? Hey, this is the only one that's around here that's on three and a half acres. Everybody else is either one acre or maybe two. But okay. this is on like two lots. Okay, and when you bought the house, from what I understand, it was very different. Very different, it was raggedy as hell. Had a bunch of trees on it, no swag, I had to repaint it, do all the inside, redo everything. Mm -hmm. You know, because who gonna buy a fixer upper for five million? Oh, okay. Nobody does that. Except but for you. Everything I put in here is what my flavor to it. And now I'm gonna give you the super tour, but I also gotta show you this hell of a room right here. This okay. is the one that you call that they have these rooms in the ghetto and usually a lot of plastic be on the couch. Follow me this okay. way. I don't let nobody come in here. Okay. Let me give you this. This is why I show you this room first. You see how everything is off white? This is my suede couch. Mm. I don't even let nobody touch these. Yeah, those over there. You might have a dye on your, on your Levi's or something, so I will not let you touch this couch or even sit in these chairs. And now back in the hood, we had your grandmother's room. These be filled up with plastic. They don't let nobody do none of this. So I, this is my little showroom right here. Yes. I got to show you another one. My most expensive room in the house. I call it my $100,000 room. I might eat in here maybe once in a blue moon. But man, from the table to the chairs. Chairs. Mm. $2,000 a chair. Who going to pay $2,000 a chair? I know I am. Mm. If I want this in the room, if I die and I finish eating, I want to be in this room. Okay. I call this my black diamonds, the ceiling. Ain't nobody doing no paint like that. Look at the wall. The wall looks like it's suede. Cost $10,000 just to paint the room. Okay. $25,000 table. They tell me this thing over here cost $15,000. I buy it just because it match. I don't even know what they call this. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Each of these little, what they call these scones. Uh, Scounds, whatever they call it, $1,500 for a little lamp. Mm. You know you making some, so I tell them, you know what? Everything I want, I'm gonna point, that's a lot of money for this room. But hey, if it's gonna be my beautiful, I call it my $100,000 room, it's worth it to me. I don't even use it. Thanksgiving might come around and I might have a family here. I had it one or two times, but that's about it. Love it, love it. Now let me talk about where we came in at. You know I'm a big baller now, because I remember the hotel, they said, man, we gonna meet you down by the hotel lobby. So I wanted this to look like a lobby, the foyer. I didn't say the foyer, I said the foyer. Foyer. Now I put my couches in here, so when people ready to go after touring the house, you know how people say, hey, let's go. My parents used to do that when we go to a party or something with the family. And by the time we leave the door, it been about another 30 or 40 minutes because they sit there talking. So I put these couches out here, just in case you or your boys be like, hey, let's go. And then you get to talking some more, at least you'll be comfortable sitting out right here. Big ball of chill right here. Now you can be ready to go or not. It don't mean nothing. I'm all good. We got we got the slam. You know, uh -oh. right here. See, see, when people pass through my hallway, they act like it's a goddamn uh, museum. But there, this is the first one, man. It's the family business, baby. That's where the boys are starting. Check it out. It's the coldest poster on Slam Magazine. When you was talking about high school, mm -hmm. you're talking about my son, Mello. Yep. You was talking about college. You're talking about my son, Jello. You see him? You're talking about the pros. You're talking about. Now, who got all three sons or every level that you got to talk about? All right. You got high school, college, and pros right there, Thank all you. in one picture. I love it. That ain't going to happen. Nope. Oh, and by the way, I just want to say over here on this Look side, this. The on house this side. used to be in the, in the best homes of the year. The best homes of the year. Yeah. But they don't have the swag that got. If you look at this picture right here, all these dang trees and all this stuff, I cut all that out. Mm. I redid all this thing. I redid the pool, redid the theater, redid, redid everything in the house to make it to my, you know, the way I feel about it. 
But yeah, it was one of them electronic houses. They call it a smart house. Press all these buttons. Vlad, I'm going to bring you right here, man. This is where I'm lounging at. You know, if I had some friends or something, we want to just be comfortable and watch a little TV. We come over over here, man. A nice little couch. I always sit in my little spinning chair so I can talk to folks. But I tell you what you ain't seen. You didn't know Big Baller used to get down roller skating. This is the world's coldest roller skates, man. You got to see these. Big Baller roller hey, skates. Look what it stay on the goddamn tongue. Stay in your lane. God dang it right, unless you're going to get killed if you're in your lane. But they, they made these with the ballers, man. These are special, baby. Mm. These are special, I'm trying to tell you. Right. So I keep my roller derbies up here, man. And you got your basketball up there, too? Basketball with the triple Bs. You know, we was down with them with the JBA and all that, man. Now, look, the ball was so good. Wilson, triple Bs. Where you going to see that? Now, you know NBA was Spalding. They Wilson now. <laughs> I'm just trying to say, man. Yeah, they never been Wilson to the big ball to get triple B's Wilson. Now they want to be. NBA ball Wilson, of course. Of course. Don't tell me I don't be setting no trends. <laughs> tell me I don't be setting no trends, man. Love it. Hey, you got to see an old photo of Alonzo on ESPN. I'll show you where that photo is and tell me what you think of it, man. This is back in the heyday. Look at Alonzo with an afro. Triple b up. Look how smooth he look. That's what the ESPN come. Nice. The black and gold. Hey, check your boy out. Black, black and gold. gold. He got to learn it from somebody. Down to the shoes. Yeah, all the way down to the shoes. Now, this is the thing finna kill you right here. Woo! This is my lounging room, baby. They call this the great room. Everything great up in here. My other couch was suede. See, there's people that don't know no material. This right here, that's velvet. You got that's beautiful. Velvet. What is you that, velvet? It's velvet. It's velvet. It's that good stuff, man. <laughs> I sit up in here all day. But they got that green, money green, baby. Okay. Yeah, that's the real you got deal. got a huge fireplace behind yeah, you. Yeah, this is one of them fireplaces you can throw somebody up in there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Say, man, heat up. You get rid of somebody like that, man. They said, nah, I'm making fireplace. I said, well, I don't know. You can fit up in there, though. Okay. This, this is my thing, man. But, but, but hold on. The chandelier. The chandelier, that's the real deal, man. That's the How real you going to be a big baller and you ain't got no big baller chandelier? You know, okay. I like to show some of the rappers, man. I said, man, you guys come over here and see the big baller spot. You buy all this gold and diamonds for your neck. If you're a real big baller, you get your one of these. Hang this on your neck. Okay. And, and the, the triple B actually rotates. Yes. You got to see the rotation of the triple Bs. How much, you know, I'm not going to ask for prices all over the place, but how much was a chandelier like this? Oh, shit, that's 50 grand. 50 grand. Boom. Who spent 50 grand on a, on a chandelier? LeVar Ball. Thank you. Because I have to see it every day. I look at stuff I can see every day, like right there, man. I'm good. Now we up in my, my kitchen area where I spend most of my time. Because you know the big ball is a chef, especially when it comes to making breakfasts and all this kind of stuff. You're a breakfast specialist. Man, you know I'm a breakfast specialist. I'm a cook specialist. Okay. I ain't even a, 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 a chef. I'm a little higher than that. Okay, so we got the huge island in the middle. Man, you got to have that. A couple of sinks. One over there, one over there. Right. And you actually have a range on the island. Now, yes. this, this you don't see very often. No, you ain't going to see that. Yeah, this is special. If you want to do the electrical thing, you do that. Right. I like the gas coming up out of my thing, so I spend my time over here. Mm -hmm. This is the real deal. But just in case, you got the backup over here. But you know if you get thirsty, man, you know I'll be rocking this, right? Come on, man. The water. Triple B water? Triple B water. Mm. Triple B water? All right, so we're about to go up to the... Third the floor. big baller bourgeois. Bourgeois. That's what I call it, the bourgeois. Not the bedroom, the bourgeois. <laughs> Follow me. When we come up this way, there's a huge closet. Got too much space up in here. But we put all the regular stuff. Come on this way. Where you been to a closet where you can put three or four people in? You don't. See what I'm saying? Huge up in here, man. So this is the master bathroom right here. Yes. Okay. Gotta be. The master bathroom, man, you gotta relax, chill, put your little lights on, do your thing. Right. Yeah, this is a good bath. But then I come over this way. This is where Big Baller get his sleep at. But I want y'all to focus in on one thing, too. And I always say, I put my dang I foot massage. I can't live without it. I put it on the end right here, relax my feet, watch my TV. One of the best things ever. You want to see a heck of a view, though? I'm going to show you a hell of a view. To let them know this big baller style. Adjust the light, come on out here where it's bright. And so you can see the big baller oasis, baby. Wow. This is the view you want to see. You see my pool with triple B's on it, man? 
if I was a little younger, I would show y'all how I can jump off of this into the pool, yeah, 20 know. something feet. I don't know about no that No splash. <laughs> I'm just a little older now, but I can do that. The, my flight or my trajectory would, would have me skim right into that pool. Okay. But I ain't gonna tell, I'll just tell y'all about that. <laughs> but the big baller got things going on. There go my boy Jello House over there. Mm -hmm. Right here, people see it's still going down. Okay. This so is in, that's gonna be my indoor gym. Okay. So my boys come back, they ain't never gotta go to no gym. So that's gonna be a basketball court? Basketball court inside. Nice. With a skybox. It used to be a tennis court, right? It used to be a tennis court. I ain't got no tennis players. <laughs> I got basketball players. Okay. So we tear the tennis court up. Yep. And now I got to build a whole gymnasium. But it's going to be cold when it's done. I tell you that, you might have to come back for that. Okay. I'm going to get for my reopening, Vlad. I'm going to invite you to see the inside of the thing. Be the coldest thing you ever okay. seen. Okay. And then we have the putting green over there. Putting green, just to show them a little some little, a little fun in the sun. A little mm -hmm. putting. I ain't got to never chase that ball. I'm good at putting. It's the long range I don't want to do. That's the hard part. Yeah, the hard part, it's, it might be easy. I can't even find my ball after I hit it. <laughs> now I'm going to show you guys my little office, man. And people used to say, LaVar, down there when I'm talking to my team, I'm good. But when I'm doing my work, they say, LaVar, why you got a dang bed in your office? And I tell them, because I take naps. Oh, I'm telling you. Well, you're the nap master from hey, what I I'm understand. A nap, man, I'm a professional <laughs> napper. I professional take napper. Nap, a required nap every day. Me too. Oh, People don't good. understand the importance of naps. Hey, you gotta have that, man. Yep. That's what folks say. But I sit up here and do my work and I fold right out of this chair, right into that thing right there. Now you can get my upstairs shot. Every time I walk out my bedroom, I can see my chandelier doing my thing. Oh, so yeah. I know Big Baller done made it doing his thing. Success is in the chandelier, because it's always shining. I just want to point out there's marble floors throughout. Oh yeah, you gotta see that, you gotta see that. Marble everywhere. Man, come no, on. No wood, no, marble. No, no, I get to marble it up. Exactly. Man. That's how you do it. Shoot, it's the real deal. That's why it's good to have two sets of stairs. So, going to my room, I come up my stairs over there. But if I got guests or something like that, y'all come up on your side. Don't nobody be <laughs> up on that side over there. <laughs> Don't use my stairs. Don't use, your use own my stairs. stairs. Use your own stairs. Stay on your side. And this is another thing, since I don't have no kids and nothing, I make this a little room. Instead of a bedroom, I put it back here where I, I lounge on my world's most comfortable couches, which is these right here. And watch my big movies or whatever games I'm doing on my big screen. And just relax, you know, this is my room right here. So if I got guests, I tell them, don't bother me. You don't want to go downstairs to the den. Just stay up in here and mingle and watch TV. Follow me though. You need tiptoe in case your friends stand you right over here. If my boys come, I let them lounge up in here. Now you got your TV, you got all your stuff, you're just kicking back. I can look out the window and see who's coming, who's leaving. Oh, it's a beautiful setup. You can't get this. Vlad, I'm telling you, man. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. And you got your own private gate in the front. Man, you got to have a private gate right and there. And you're in a gated man. community on top of it. So it's oh, yes. so double once gated. Once you get through the gate, you got to come to me to get through my gate. Right. You know what one of my guys from the hood told me? He said, Big Baller, I'm gonna let you know something. You know how I can tell you successful? I said, how? Will, how, Will? He said, anytime you got a balcony inside the house, you a bad <laughs> member, Jim. And this is where I tell him when my voice, my boy's voice has changed when they used to call me from here. Father, <laughs> father. <laughs> they suddenly got a British accent, huh? You got a British accent when you up on the balcony outside. You know, people used to hang in the hood and the projects, man, and stuff like that. And the lower income neighborhood, they have a little balcony about this big. Be outside. What can you put on that? And they'd be like, hey, Will, come on up, dog. Come on up. They said, LaVar, you got two of them inside. One on each side of that, man. Mm. I said, that's when you, that's a good, a good thing. I said, thank you. I'm glad y'all relate my success on the balcony. <laughs> Let's go down. I got to show y'all something special. Now, this right here, boop. This is for the big ball. When you got a house elevator, you can't put 22 people in here. Man, but look at this. This is the elevator, baby. Come on, my man. Hop in first. We ain't got to do no stairs, man. We going straight down to where it gets down with the get down. Boy, this is a great thing. <laughs> Boy, them stairs. Ooh, my God. I use this elevator every day. But I'm gonna tell you, the best thing about an elevator and having your house, you don't even gotta wait on nobody. I press a button, it's here. Get to go up and down. Ooh. But now it takes me my time to get all the way down to my bottom floor. 
But let me adjust the lighting because I know ain't nobody been down here. Good. Yes, indeed. Never using the stairs. Big baller gotta have an elevator. Never using the stairs. Some people got a goddamn elevator in their house. You know I can get lazy. I'm talking about it. Look like a regular door. I love it. You know what? Everybody got the PlayStation games and sitting down and playing. I tell the youngsters, come over here and learn how to play some real games. Miss Pac-Man. Oh. Pinball machine. Okay. These games right here, you gotta stand up and play. Mm. So you're gonna be in shape if you can stand up for an hour or two. These games, these guys came out there, man, they stay in the room, play them goddamn computer games and sit there for five, six hours. Legs ain't strong, laying down, sitting down. This right here, you got to be in shape. Right. That's how I get down. And we got the old school big back TV. Oh man, in the case corner. you got an old VCR, VHS. With a VCR to yes. VHS. It's VHS beta, VHS, you know, I got both of them. Boom. I keep that just in case you want to see some rare footage or something. And it's on a VHS tape. I have to bring it all the way down here. But I ain't never getting rid of that. And you got the shuffleboard over shuffleboard, here? Shuffleboard, man. I'll give you a story. I had some ladies, come, my cleaning ladies. They didn't know nothing about this. So they come down here and clean my stuff down here. Do you know they vacuum all the sand off here? And I said, as clean as my house is, do you think I would leave it like this? I said, that's supposed to be on here. They windexed it and shined it up. I said, sweetheart, she said, Lafar, we don't know nothing about that. I said, I can tell. But if the sawdust goes on there, it's supposed to be like that. Mm. Yeah. I said, you think I would have my house be this clean and leave that dirty? I just want to point out there's three, three TVs. TVs. Three and the TVs. reason there's three TVs, because I watch, uh, I would watch Lonzo on this one, and then Jellos would be Greensboro, would be ESPN too. So I watch it here, and then I watch Mellow over here. Mm. So all at the same time. So I never have to record or nothing like that. I just watch the games. Another game the big ball will be getting down with is the pool table, baby. And let me tell you this anybody who got something engraved on the end, don't play him. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> big baller brand, baby. I don't mess around. I'm gonna show y'all one of the coldest photos, man. This guy, I was down in Australia. He drew my boys with a pencil. He did this with a pencil. Wow. Is that the coldest thing in detail that thing is? That's perfect. Yeah. It's like a photo. Man, yeah. yeah. I said, dude, he said, no, nah, I did that for you, LaVar. I got, it's one-on-one. I got the little card he gave me to go with it. So you drew that thing. Got a little bar area over here? A little bar area, you know, in case somebody's sitting down. Right. I don't drink or nothing like that, so I'll let you get a water or a soda and chill right here. Mm. You know. Do you ever taken a drink? No, never. Like, in life? Oh, in life. The only thing I drink is milk, orange juice, lemonade. Okay. Now, here it is. This is what everybody was dreaming about, man. They say, big baller, you got all this money, why you don't buy no weight set? Cause this weight set older than my daddy. This bench, like 70 years old. Huh. But it, it ain't got no screws in it, it's all welded. And this is a, a compact bar. They didn't think I could put 400 pounds on it, but I put six, 700 pounds on this bar. This is the real deal, man. I ain't never getting rid of this pig iron on the fact that it built my dad, it built me and my brothers. Oh. I'ma build my sons on this. Oh yeah. You feel me? Yeah, I Why think would I get everyone had one of these growing up. Man. I had one of these on my back porch. I don't know about yeah. no pig iron like that though. That's that ghetto stuff. Right. You, you had to be in the ghetto then, Brian. Right? I mean, that's, that's the kind that I had, right? Oh there. see, you up in yeah. the ghetto. I, mean, I didn't grow up rich, let me sure. tell you. But now I'ma show you my thing right here where they stream movies and all that, I still got my blockbuster right here. Sometimes I put the rope so you can't come in. See, I put this right here. DVDs. You know what that means? I work here. Okay. What you want? You want Bruce Lee flicks? You want, I, I still be in here looking for my stuff like this. Hmm. Let me see what we got here. Uh-oh. Jordan. <laughs> you know that. But I tell you what, he on the same thing with my man. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, baby. Y'all don't know nothing about this. So you gotta, you gotta have that Bruce Lee thing. But I tell you what, my all-time favorite, my all-time favorite, keep me laughing, man. I got the whole series. Sanford and Seth. Man, come on now. Come on now, man. Big Bowler gotta do this, man. But I still up in here, like I said, I like looking through my sons, tell me, you know they streaming all this stuff, they don't worry about me. I like to come in and look, see what movie I'm gonna watch tonight. I still do that. Mm. Now, if I'm going to the movies, I put a person in there and make sure you got your tickets. That's why I close these up. 
And what, there'd be a little person sitting on the stool, make sure they get their tickets. I close that off, because that will lead you into this thing right here. Come on in. Yeah. Home theater. It's a big ball of theater, man. Come in here and chill, especially on a rainy day. Ain't nothing to do. Give me a little cover, sit back here, put my screen back, and watch my movies. Projector's back here. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Yes. It's the okay. best thing. Well, I'm it. telling you. I don't want to turn it on, because then we wouldn't finish this interview. We won't leave. With these couches right here, man, go right to sleep. Okay. Seats 11, as, as yes. I can see. I just counted. Yeah, I can put more than that in here. I know, right? You still got some room over I here. I got some room. I, I got room right here. Right. I got some, some, supposed to have some more chairs coming. But they put these new chairs, they're going to tell me. That's why these wires right here. They say, LeVar, when a car crashes or something, it shake the whole okay. chair. I want to feel the effect. When you get shot, the boom hits you in your back. Boom. <laughs> oh, man. I said, I got to get them chairs. Act like you're in the movies. Uh. Come on through this way. This is how you feel. But anything, like I turn all my lights on out here at night, and usually I put my chairs when I have my parties. And, got and you my, got the heaters up there so you can hang out there, when it's and, cold. And, and, yeah. when, when in December, when it's cold and yep. chilly, we, we right there. Yep, yep. So, but look at this. I'm gonna show you something where everybody be talking crazy, talking about you can put these bars up, but see, there's my workout bars where I have my boys getting strong. Nobody's seen that. Yes, look down here. Look how pretty it is. And now if you got a young kid and he want to have some strength, that's the setup you got to have. People say, oh, you can get this shit up at any park. Well, go to any park on a consistent basis. You're not. Facts. But if you got them in your backyard, and in fact, I charge folks $18.50 for it, they act like I'm going crazy. See if you can get them powder coated and made like that for $18.50 without that thing falling down. Mm. But I know when you got a young kid and you strength train them so you don't stunt their growth, you can start somebody at four or five years old doing that. Like they can start four or five years old. But I keep my TVs out here to watch and everything's going on. So you already see my pool area and this right here. This is good. But now, don't get nervous, because you know they're going to go crazy. When they see me and see them cameras, they go a little crazy. The dogs. Yeah, you know, Cash and Dip got to do their thing. Uh-oh, follow me up these stairs. Don't worry about it. They can't open the gate yet. It's a boy and a girl, right? Boy and a girl. Yep. Boy's boy bigger. and a girl. I got to show you all something they don't think. What's going on? Vlad, this is what they ain't going to see. I got triple B rims, baby. Okay. Thought I was playing. Uh, okay, so this is okay. So so this is the uh, the, the Maybach. Yes, that's a big bowl of Maybach. Okay. They only made 15 of them in the world. Really? Yes. Well, what's, called, so this is the, the night, night edition. edition. Yes. If you find somebody in Cali with that, let me know, cause it's the only one in Cali. Okay. So can we open it up? Like, yeah, you can open it up. Well, I don't even got to get the keys, but you can open it up. It's dirty right now. Cause my, my, my guy who come clean my cars come tomorrow, but the inside of that bad boy, come on now. So what's different about the night edition? Than the other the night edition got these cream colored seats, the special black, it's only black and white. They only made them this color. Okay. So that night edition, that's what it's got to have that tag on it. But you do your homework, man. They only made 15 in the world. Okay. Everybody got that. Big baller got it though. Right. You have to have a driver for one of these. Yeah. Oh. No, you drive yourself? Best thing about it, it's a V12. It's fast. I got a driver, and it's fun to drive. Uh, okay. If I'm going somewhere to LA or something like that, I get my driver to take me. I go to sleep because I ain't messing with that traffic. Right. But if I'm traveling at night or going somewhere, I drive myself. It's a V12. Uh. I love it. So smooth. How much one of these run? About, about, about 300. 300? Yeah. Okay. But I got to have this. This is the best one. I traded in uh, and bought this one when I had I had my Bentley Mulsanne. Mm. But it didn't have as much room in the back. Yeah. I wasn't going to get rid of my Bentley Mulsanne. I thought that was the best thing ever, the power in it. This one came with power and room. I said, I got to get that. Now I'll take you over here to see my other little whip, man. This is the last big car they're going to make this fast. 800 and some horsepower in here. Damn. That's that demon. That's the demon. The demon be screaming. Right, and they stopped making them, right? They stopped making 2018, and they want to make a Hellcat. The thing, I usually don't show my cars when they're dirty, but I want you to see them goddamn rims. OK. They the mine. Ain't just the hubcaps, Vlad. Okay, so these are the new BBB rims. Yes. Now, those are beautiful. Man, I ain't I like the word. Them. I got a lot of them about to come. Wait, wait, wait till I officially launch in this next month and a half or so. And mm. take you down to my warehouse. Okay. Down in Santa Ana. Mm. The baddest. You will see all the rims and everything. Everybody going to be going crazy. But then I got my little SUV. And then you got, uh, what's the name? My Rolls Royce, you know. Okay. They're going to make rims for that. But those, the rims I make for the Rolls Royce, them gonna be one of ones. Gonna cost you about thirty-five grand just for the rims. Seventy-five hundred per rim. 
let's take a look at the Rolls Royce. Oh, this, yeah. is the, this is the, uh, is this the Don? This the Rolls Royce Don. Yes, it Rolls is. Rolls Royce Don convertible. Yes. yes. Okay. Got to have it. Okay. Well, what's the ticket on one of these? Man, you're looking at folks, something. Or something. Yeah. Got the suicide doors. You got to have that. They bought okay. stuff clean. That black on black, you can't lose that. Okay. Do these, the these have the uh, the umbrella? Yeah, of course you can have an umbrella. Look right here. I don't never use it because I ain't getting out in the rain. I mean, I don't even know why they put that feature. They better off putting me a billy club because I got to slap the hell out of somebody. <laughs> I'll pop my billy club on your ass. Okay, you pop it out one more time. <laughs> Look, got a button. See if I can do all that. Oh. Get an umbrella. But hey, I'm going to show you one of my favorite spots. So this is a four, four car garage, five car garage, six. six car garage. Six. Six car garage. That's that Shelby truck. I've never even seen this before. I've never no. heard of this before. No, they ain't out here. Okay. They ain't out here. The inside of that boy cold. But I ain't even a pickup truck driver, but the fact that this is 770 horsepower. It's called a super snake. Huh. Super snake. 770 horsepower. Coolest thing. No, no Corvette? Uh, no, I got something else coming. You got something else coming? Because they made, they, made, they made the Corvette look like the Ferrari, the new one. Yeah, the deal with the, with the vents on the side. I don't want nobody to say, is that a Ferrari or a Corvette? You're going to know when I get the Ferrari, you're going to be like, oh, well, that's a Ferrari. Right. I don't want to mistake it. Because that was your dream car originally. Yes. The Corvette. Always. Right. And I had one, I got rid of it. Right. But I had to get that Corvette, man. That was, that was my thing. But the, the, they made the, the new ones look just so much like the Ferrari. Yeah. I don't want that. I'm going to give me a real Ferrari. Right. I'm going to do a few things before I can get that. The Shelby truck. Them. But the Shelby truck, that's, that's the real deal. Now I'm going to show you my most favorite spot where I kick it at, man. But come on this way right here. When I first bought this house, they didn't have none of this. Because the people who had it, they liked the suntan and the sun popping on them. <laughs> I'm a brother. I like the shade. I said, cover it up all the way down. But have any of my ideas or the next thing I got coming up, boy, don't nothing beat this spot right here. Oh my God. You know, I put this pillow right here. Y'all can get a look at this. And in the middle of the day, I know folks be looking at me from all over. I say, what is he doing? Taking a nap. Mm. Your favorite thing? Can't beat this, Vlad. I love it, man. Vlad, that's it. the end of the tour, man. But I'm telling you, we right here, man. I'm loving your style, man. To, Thank to you. come through here. I didn't know you was in business as long, man. But I, one of the things I do admire is how you get a certain part of your life. And you say, you know what? I'm going to jump and do it my way. Right. For you to have Vlad TV instead of ABC or CNN, you say, I'm going to create my own thing. I believe in it. Yep. And like you said, you go 100%, not 80-20, yeah, 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 yeah. not 70-30. You didn't 30. have no fallback no plan. plan B. That's why I tell people, All I'm doing. don't have no fallback. Your plan B is to make your plan A work. Yep. That's why if it don't work, put 100% into something else. Mm -hmm. But don't go 80 and thinking you got 20% fallback plan. You're never going to make it where you're supposed to be. That's right. That's right. If you work a nine to five and come home following your dreams afterwards, you'll be too tired. Too man, and you're competing against the people that are doing it 100. percent You got a thing called Vlad TV. Your name and TV behind it. Mm -hmm. How many people want to do that? Like you said, you got to look ahead and say, you know what, this podcast and this this streaming and the way it is, I got to see something before that to believe in this. Mm -hmm. Now we're not going through no production company and all this stuff. ABC is signing stuff and say black out this, black out that. Don't say that. Nope. Man, me and you on our own flavor, man. That's right. And that's why it's so organic when folks got to see and listen to this because it's so natural. If we ain't got no hidden agenda and we both are transparent on what we're doing and what we're saying, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Hey, yeah, man, two guys in their 50s who man, started from on. the bottom, they, built their own thing. Come on, man. Can't hate on that. You can't, man. Can, hey, can't hate on it. They got to. You know? be like, that should have been me. No, you got to put your time in, put your work in. That's right. But you know what? I, I tell them like this, and me is training my kids and doing all this stuff. It was never work to me. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you think it's work, it's, it's, it's just like this. If you're a people person and you love interviewing and talking to people, if this is what you do, mm -hmm. it ain't work. It's fun doing oh, yeah. something you want to do. Oh, man, I was looking forward to this all week. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. That's why I said, man, to get to know you and hang out like this, it's like doing it for just having fun, mm -hmm. talking to somebody. We're people person. I got to know you. You got to know me. Yep. It, it's a great thing. I know your camera guys and stuff like that. It's it's a good day. That's why we can go from, you know, three and four hours time get away from us. Mm -hmm. But if we have fun and doing this thing, we look up. We, we, we came here first thing in the morning. And now it's in the middle of the afternoon. Mm -hmm. But if I was bored, I'd be like, you know what, Vlad? I can't do this too. I'm too tired. I can't do it. Yep. But to do this, man, it, it was more 
It's just fun. It's an honor. And Likewise. You having your own thing, man. Thank I, you. I, I, I love it, man. Anytime somebody creating their own lane, like I said, stay in your lane, it's a beautiful thing. And people say, LeVar, I love the way you go against this and that. I don't go against nothing. I go against the grain. Why would I go this way if the grain is going this way? So I must create my own lane so I can weave and go sideways, stop. I'm not going to go in no wreck. Mm -hmm. But don't talk tough and don't have your own thing and understand what comes with that. Because everybody want to see how I'm living now, but nobody understood that I put 18 years, 20 years of working into my boys to create them, mm -hmm. to be successful. Like, that's a lot of years. Yep. But if they my sons and I'm watching them grow up, it's not enough years. We're only here for so long. Yeah. But to enjoy that, it's, it, it's a thing, like, like, like I said, I think the bottom line for us of any parent is to make sure your kid is is, is good after you go. Yeah, and like I, I always said, it. like I always say, I've always spent my life uh, planning 10 years ahead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, in my, my 20s, I was planning for my 30s. In my 30s, I was planning for my 40s. Now that I'm 50, yeah. I've been planning this since, since my early 40s. Right. And this is what you've been doing. Right. You know, you can't just say it, you know, when your kids are 17, say, oh, I want my kids to go to the NBA. Let me, let me, let me get right, them right, a, right. a coach. Let me get them a trainer. No, right. it's too late. Right. You should have started when they were kids. I started before they were kids. Before exactly. they even come out the womb. So exactly. Me picking my wife. It's a game of length. I can't get no little cutie that's five feet. I had a lot of little show cuties. Right. But none of them with no wingspan and six one. Yeah, I'm, I'm guilty of this right here. That's right. I got to get <laughs> All that. my women have been short. Yes. So you got to get it. But I'm trying to create athletes. I got to put a, the ball in their favor. Right. You get it? So so I can't. Oh, I love her with spirit mates, but you five two. I have one. I can't do nothing. My kid don't come out like that. Right. But all my kids over six six and above. Six six and above. Yes. What, what are the heights? Uh, Jello is six six. Mm -hmm. Lonzo is six seven. Uh huh. And Melo is six eight. So they're actually all taller than you, and that's, your wife. That's normally how it's going to work. You're going to be taller than your father. Okay. If you think about it, the most yeah. No, I'm, I'm taller than my dad. You're right. Exactly. Yeah. Look at everybody's stuff. They're taller than their dad. Yeah. The majority of them. Right. Some of them uh, here and there, you might not make it, but everybody going to be. I'm six six. So all my boy, my shortest boy gonna be six six. Mm -hmm. My dad is six two, mm -hmm. and my shortest brother is six three. Mm -hmm. I have a brother that's six three, one that's six five, two that's six seven, and I'm six six. Aha! Uh -huh. And then my one of my sisters is six feet, but the other one, I guess we took all the inches from her. She's five feet. <laughs> oh, five feet. She's five feet. Wow! You look at her like you're five feet. <laughs> All these giants. When I say everybody took three, two, two or three inches from her inches and put it on ours and put right. us right there. She five feet. People look at her and be like, you five feet. You sure you're related to all yeah. these people here? <laughs> yeah, she, 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 the, she the spiciest one, though, man. She, 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 she bad. You can't yeah. talk crazy to her. Well, LeVar, man, thank you so much uh, man, for taking us as a tour. Man. I think this is so inspirational yeah. as, as a, a young man growing up in South Central uh -huh. to this. Yeah. yeah. And all by yourself. Yeah. No no one sat there and gave you a bunch of money. Right. You didn't work for a corporation and work right. your way up. You started this thing in your head and this is what it materialized into. Yeah. And, and I love it, man. A lot of people are gonna watch this and they're gonna say, you know something, I, I could do that too. Yeah. You gotta go out there. Hey, all my thing is, man, I know I can't help the world, but I just need to change your mindset, that's all. Mm -hmm. To give you a start on what you can do. Yep. Because everybody, oh, you can believe it. Anything, you gotta do some funding. You gotta put some money toward it. Mm -hmm. But the, you know, I'm real with it and say, you know what, I hope I spark your mind. Because the best thing is, oh, make you believe that you can do this. How about you give me $1,000 so I can get started? Yeah, I ain't going to do that. Yeah. I'm broke. But I'm just saying, but if I can change your mindset and you see something like this and you be like, you know what, that at least get me started. Right. And that's all I, I, I plan to do through all the stuff that I'm doing with the outside people videotaping and stuff like that. I just want to make you understand your self-worth. Yes. I love it. Until next time. Yes, indeed. Peace. Yes. We out. Glad. Appreciate you, boy. Yes, sir. <laughs>